The only thing worse than dreaming about missing a deadline is actually missing one. But don't worry, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a simple deadline tracker in Excel so that you'll never miss another deadline again. Let's get started. For example, here we have a list of projects along with their due date, and we want to calculate the number of days until each product is due and add some formatting so that it's easy to tell which products are on track, overdue, or due today. Thanks to the today function and custom number formatting, we can knock this out in just two steps. The first step is to calculate the number of days remaining or the days past due utilizing the today function. If you don't know what the today function is, it's a dynamic function that returns the current date and automatically updates every time the workbook is recalculated. So to calculate days remaining or past due, type in equal sign, enter the today function, and just subtract the due date by typing a minus sign and selecting the due date. Fill this formula down the column, and I know this doesn't look right, but trust the process. This leads us into step two of adding a custom number format to format these values as days overdue, days remaining, or due today. To add a custom number format, open the number format dropdown on the home tab and select more number formats at the bottom to open the number tab of the format cells dialog box. Next, select the custom category, and now we need to enter a custom format in the type text box. The custom number format is going to contain three pieces separated by semicolons. The first piece is going to format the negative values, which are days overdue. The second piece is going to format the positive values, which are days remaining. And the last piece is going to format values of zero, or in other words, projects that are due today. First, we need to enter the format for the negative values by entering the color we want the value to be in brackets, followed by the formatting symbol of the number format that we want the value to be, and then adding the text we want to add to the value in double quotes. So I'm going to go ahead and enter red in brackets to format days overdue red, enter the number symbol to format the results as a number value, and lastly, enter days overdue in double quotes to add this text string to the number value. Next, we need to repeat this for the positive values by typing a semicolon to separate the formats, entering the color you want the days remaining values to be in brackets, inserting the number symbol to format the values as numbers, and then this time entering days remaining in double quotes instead of days overdue. Finally, we need to format the values of zero or in other words, the projects that are due today. So I'm going to enter another semicolon to separate the formats, enter green in brackets to format these values green, I'm going to skip the number format symbol because we actually don't need the number zero to appear in these values. And lastly, enter due today in double quotes. Now that we've completed our custom number format, hit OK to apply the formatting. As you can see, the projects that are approaching their deadline display the days remaining in blue. The projects that are past due display the number of days they're overdue in red. And the projects that are due today say due today in green. Another great feature of this deadline tracker is that it will automatically update if any of these due dates change. So for example, if project number 57811's deadline gets pushed back to November 11th, the number of days remaining will automatically update. Now you really have no excuses to miss another deadline. Hopefully you never have another nightmare about missing a deadline again thanks to this Excel tracker. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more.